Have a headache? Maybe it's knee pain from osteoarthritis or sore muscles from a tough workout. Chances are when life causes aches and pains, many of us reach for the ibuprofen because it works. But if you also take aspirin to protect against heart disease, there are some things you need to know. Aspirin and some over-the-counter pain relievers don't mix. Rows and rows of pain relievers line the shelves of just about every drugstore. Aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, acetaminophen. These medications are great for aches and pains, but if you take aspirin to reduce your risk of heart attack, Dr. Stephen Kopetsky says you should avoid some of the other pain relievers. Well, if you have heart disease, you're, you have narrowing the arteries to the heart, and you're also more likely to have blood clots form in the arteries of your heart. When the blood clot forms, it closes off the artery like a cork in a bottle. Aspirin inhibits that clotting process. Now, there's some medicines you take that actually increase the clotting. And some of those are the what we call the NSAIDs, or the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that you and I know as things like uh, ibuprofen. NSAIDs don't cause clotting, they decrease the beneficial effects of the aspirin. So if you take aspirin for heart disease, Dr. Kopetsky says you should not take NSAIDs. And so I tell all my patients, if you have heart disease, known arteries of the heart that are narrowed, or you're at risk for heart disease, you have high cholesterol, you have high blood pressure, you're a smoker, then don't take ibuprofen. Dr. Kopetsky says if you take aspirin for heart disease and feel the need to take an NSAID for its anti-inflammatory effect, reach for something like naproxen instead of ibuprofen. Dr. Kopetsky says acetaminophen is okay to take. It does not inhibit the effect of aspirin. If you have questions about whether a medication is safe, talk to your doctor. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.